Our warfighters depend on weapon platforms such as the U.S. Marine Corps' Light Armored Vehicle, or LAV. But the current model for sense and respond systems on LAVs is based on decades-old technology, creating logistical roadblocks that constrain operations rather than supporting them. Under the Commercial Technologies for Maintenance Activities program, the National Center for Manufacturing Sciences assembled a team to improve logistical sense and respond support. The Marine Corps, as an entity, has a desire to move down the road of logistics modernization. Sense of Respond was really an R&D project, and the intent behind it was to accommodate equipping the platform so that the enterprise had visibility down to an individual vehicle as to its health and status. The project's goal is to integrate LAV sensor systems that work together to gather and communicate information handing off data in real time to create a common operating picture for all levels of the enterprise. The issue that we, we, we were faced was how do we first smarten the platform. The project itself was based on taking a legacy system, 25-year-old vehicle, and see how smart we could make it. In other words, what data could, could we collect, what knowledge could we gain from that vehicle in real time to allow us to make better decisions in terms of both operation and support activities. The platform itself, with monitoring and communications equipment on board, senses vehicle health information and alerts the crew to vehicle status. This data is shared wirelessly with near platform operations in the LAV's immediate vicinity, alerting maintenance to develop an appropriate work package. All platform health data is available in theater addressing repair and maintenance opportunities at the garrison, company, or battalion level. Completing the common operating picture, information on vehicle health is transferred across the enterprise at the strategic level. Remote technicians can then provide real-time expertise to repair personnel and make informed maintenance decisions. The mechanism creates a cohesive, standardized data model for the life of every LAV in the field allowing advanced predictive life cycle management to anticipate maintenance needs and increase operational availability. DOD is, is in a position right now where it can't afford to sustain the systems that it has fielded over its life cycle. We need to move toward condition-based maintenance across the department, so implementing these technologies into systems like the LAV, other legacy systems as well, will help us move toward maintaining systems when the systems need to be maintained as the systems need to be maintained. Inherently, the desire is, is to provide uh, a weapon system to the warfighter that, that is going to accommodate um, the, the, the end state of increased reliability, sustainability, and lethality. Guided by the NCMS team, performance testing began in 2005 and generated immediate results. Early warning will reduce maintenance cycle time by approximately 50% and increase fleet-wide operational availability by 7%. Maintenance cost avoidance will exceed $22 per mile based on overall preventive maintenance monitoring, and LAVs are expected to see a 14% increase in mean time between failure. These improvements will increase dramatically as testing and optimization continues. The team looks forward to even more advanced research in a future phase, including integration of advanced wireless networking, additional device health sensors, and greater data interoperability. The question that comes up is, well, now what? In a follow-on R&D project, we want to address, okay, so you're getting data, what are you doing with the data? H have we censored the appropriate things for the platform? And we'd like to investigate some new sensor technologies that are out there. Well, one of the, one of the things we did was uh, working through uh, 
NCMS and the CTMA folks, uh, we basically entered into a partnership with them. Uh, having done that now, we project that uh, there will be multi-million dollar savings as a result of implementing these systems within the fleet. Not only in personnel savings, but in terms of improving our readiness and improving our, our ability to support the fleet. Having the, the right parts at the right place at the right time is very critical to uh, maintaining availability, particularly in a warfighting environment. The first goal of a project like Sense and Respond is to idealize the operation of equipment and provide the best possible tools for the Corps. Smarter vehicles with embedded platform logistics will extend the range and effectiveness of our weapon systems, letting operators and technicians know exactly how much fight remains in each vehicle. Sense and Respond logistics will improve LAV life cycle and increase the chances of our warfighters returning home safely. We need to know which systems are available, which systems are ready for the war fight. Which systems would an operational commander send into the battle at any given time? He needs that intelligence generated from his system to make those kinds of decisions. As they say, 80% of what we have today is what we'll have 15 years from today. So it's very important for us to look at ways to implement these advanced technologies into the current weapon systems that we have so we can realize our benefits over and across the Department of Defense.